Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to The Countdown, where we're going to count down the top 10 most watched celebrity episodes of the Podcast and Chill. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Podcast and Chill. This one is for the chillers, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to the channel, we welcome you back, newbie. And if you are a returnee, then welcome back. All right, so in this week's episode, we're going to count down the top 10 most watched celebrity episodes on the Podcast and Chill, hosted by Meg G. Saw. So, and the ghost lady. Coming in at number 10, we have Sims Ngema. Sims spoke about how she made her leg husband Dumi Masilela, his passing and the effect it had on her and his family. The actress spoke about the healing, depression and the gist of losing Dumi two months after their wedding. She went on to discuss how she met Tino, Chinyane and their child. She spoke about her career in the entertainment industry and big names she worked with such as Sindhu Latu, Lele Tikumalo and even Mam Meritwala. She elaborated how hard she had worked to be given this type of opportunity and how she had to put in the work to work amongst these type of artists. Touching on a few topics such as couch casting, social media and her pregnancy. Coming in at number 9 we have Natasha Tahane. Natasha spoke about perfecting her craft within the acting space by furthering her studies in New York and starting her own production company. She opened up about her relationship with La Cisre and made it known that she respects actors and actresses that prepare themselves for a role. The actress let us in on being casted on different productions and how each of them contributed to shaping her as a performer. Natasha also spoke about how God has played a huge role in her upbringing and her success. Coming in at number 8, we have MT the Hustler, you already know. So in this episode of the podcast and chill, MT was touching base on his background and how life was before his hit single rolled up, revealing the fact that before stardom, he used to be a weed dealer. The rapper opened up about ambitions entertainment how he was being treated and how leaving the label affected him both mentally and financially. He opened up about the abuse allegation, his marriage and marital problems. MT has shown that he puts his kids first and really has shown that he is a family man willing to man up for his own family. Coming in at number 7 we have Babes Wudumo. Babes went into detail as to how she became the Babes Wudumo that we know today her transition from being Ubondile to Babes the performer. She further went into detail as to how having PR helps one's career and how she wishes that she would have taken the PR advice earlier on in her career. How she met Mom Benja and how her life changed when she became famous. So those are some of the topics that she touched upon during the podcast. Babes shared her aspirations of sharing a stage with the one and only Beyonce. She also talked about working alongside big artists such as Kendrick Lamar and having a song featured on the Black Panther album. Now that's wonderful news ladies and gentlemen, that's a big move on her part. Coming in at number 6, we have the hitmaker Imali Enigi, Big Zulu himself. Big Zulu spoke about his hit single Imali Enigi and how he met fellow musicians. The rapper also touched a bit on the topic of gender-based violence, sharing his views on rape and how society perceives it. He also shared that he feels that men should protect their families as well as women and children especially during these times because GBV is such a huge problem in our country South Africa. Coming in at number 5 we have Zola 7, Bongingo Osidlamini better known as Zola 7. He spoke about his relationship with the late Brenda Farsi. He also spoke about his former label boss Lance Stern and how the relationship is between them now. He also spoke about suffering from epilepsy. Zola 7 made a few conscious references in the black culture giving us insight on a few political and religious views. Coming in at number 4 we have Kanye Mbao. Kanye unpacked the gist of her relationship with Manda. From how they started dating leading up to the altercation that took place and ended up resulting in her going into labor. She also spoke about depression and factors that contributed to her depression. She further went on into discussing the Slay Queen culture and how it became a norm in this day and age. Who we have Zodwa Wabandu. Zodwa Wabandu went into detail about talking about her ex-boyfriend and her reason behind dating younger men. 
She also spoke about her relationship with other media personalities and the importance of being authentic even when being showcased on international stages. Zodwa spoke a lot about her background, her living conditions and how she was living as a young black woman. She grew up with no parents and how it was actually living with her relatives and how she developed such a strong character at a young age. She also went on to tell us about her relationship with Mandla and how they had met, the sort of relationship that they had and how comfortable they were with each other. Coming in at number two, we have Juk Omasuta Mane in your Masaken Ding Dong. <sighs> yes, I had to include that as well, ladies and gentlemen. Molemo Maruhanye made multi allegations against his son's mother, Kelly Kumala, then went into explicit detail about his love life before going to prison. Sharing intimate details about his relationship with Amanda DuPont, which led Amanda sharing an 18 minute video on her Instagram explaining the alleged rape she endured from the Uya Jola 99 presenter Ju Ju. This led to a GBV uproar on social media, giving way for a number of other women to speak up against Ju Ju on their personal experiences with the rapper slash broadcaster. Ju Ju later opened a several cases of defamation against all the women who claimed that he allegedly raped them. Coming in at number one, we have Israel Mataika Zulu, discussing black consciousness and culture, living in the township and how being in prison has shaped him into becoming a better man and a better person. He further went on to elaborate how he has changed life in prison for prisoners. He mentioned that being proactive and having extra neural activities that stimulates prisoners and keeps them active actually makes them better citizens when they do leave prison. Israel put a lot of emphasis on working hard, earning strides and leaving a legacy as a black man living in South Africa. Also saying that education is very important and the youth should not take it for granted. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, those were our top 10 most watched interviews on the ever so controversial podcast and chill. Let us know in the comment section down below which episode was your favorite. If you like this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of our weekly celebrity content. Till next time, we out.